Hello, everybody. Hopefully your quarantine is going all right. Mine's not going too bad. Now, in an attempt to cover more global news and politics, I have a crazy story for you guys that highlights a larger, crazier story, and all my sources are in the description box below. Now, real quick, let me just give you guys the Military Times, like their exact story and what they said. So here is the story according to the Military Times. Quote, a U.S. official said Friday the Islamic State affiliate in Afghanistan carried out this week's horrific attack on a maternity hospital in a majority Shia Muslim neighborhood in Kabul, killing 24 people, including newborn babies and mothers. Okay, so there's essentially there's a shooting. They walked around, systematically shot a bunch of moms and newborns. And then afterwards, there's a four hour gunfight between the gunmen and Afghan security forces, pretty much. I think it was like their police or something along those lines, but it, it honestly, it doesn't make a difference. Now, what, where this gets complicated is, is who is responsible for this attack? Because the U.S. military is claiming that it's an Islamic State affiliate. There's other people that were thinking it was Taliban. The interesting aspect is the Taliban said it wasn't them and the Islamic State said it wasn't them either. Generally speaking, when these things occur, there's a group, at least one group that claims responsibility. Like, oh yeah, look at that. Look what I can do. Look at all this, this power that I have and the fact that I could kill people when I want. But nobody's claiming responsibility, which is why this is getting real weird. Okay, so we don't know who did it. However, we can try to get a little bit more context into the situation and try to better understand who may have done it and what could we expect in the future so as of the moment as of like right now the taliban and afghani government have been in peace talks since february but as violence has increased afghanistan's president Ash Ashraf ghani which i probably butchered his name he has ordered an offensive attack against the taliban and other groups in the area so right now there's about 74 people who are getting killed a day in afghanistan that's pretty much where we're at now, the question that we also have to ask ourselves is who isn't involved in the talks? Like who has something to gain from attacking people during this period of time? And that's the Islamic State. So there's there's like that. But at the same time, if there's an offensive against the Taliban, then the Taliban are more than likely the ones who are doing it as well. Honestly, if I were to take a guess, I would say it was probably the Taliban. Both sides aren't opposed to killing babies and women and civilians and everybody, especially with suicide bombers. But my question is, to what extent does the Islamic State exist in Afghanistan? That's the real question that we have. Because I don't think there's any sort of logical or objective numbers in terms of how much, because you could look at a group of people and be like, oh yeah, there's uh, let's see, I work for the military. There's uh, 10 people there. Let's say um, nine people, nine people for the Taliban. And let's say, uh, Let's say nine are also in the Islamic State, even though there's 10 people total. My point is, who knows how they collect that information? That's the real question. But I will say, because of the fact that there's a new offensive against the Taliban, it was probably the Taliban. Now, if you guys would like another update on like exactly what's going on here, I can definitely give you guys more updates. I thought you guys would just appreciate this because it's a representation of a larger issue, especially because the U.S. military has been there for, what, 18 years there's something called the Afghanistan Papers that came out saying the U.S. lied about the successes that we've been having in Afghanistan. Right now there's peace talks, but it looks like that's falling apart. And then the potential with Islamic State. So if you guys would like me to continually add to this story as time progresses, let me know. But anyway, that is where we're at.